I'm absolutely obsessed with this new handle design. It's not just incredibly unique and stylish, but also super handy and efficient. And I'm going to show you how you can model it too. So as you might be familiar with this project, we have already modeled all of these sections in previous videos. I'm going to share a link in top right corner. You can check it if you are interested. In this video, we are going to just model some handles for all of these cabinets in here. So our first model is this one and we are going to see how we can create a unique handle for this part, not the traditional one. For this type, we don't really need to add some parts to our cabinet. We just need to reduce some section, some parts for this area on top of its door so we can easily open and close it. We are going to use these void forms and for this model, we are going to use this void extrusion in here i'm going to set my work plane on this part because we want to like extend it to this section i'm going to choose this face and on this part i'm going to turn it on so we can see where it is on this part i'm going to simply sketch what i want to create go to right view and in here i'm going to just create a very simple shape with this peak line, I'm going to select this section and this part and then with a line, I'm going to connect these two parts together like this. You can extend this to this corner, but um, this way it is easier for like your fingers to hold some parts. I'm going to trim these two parts together and hit finish this way. So now if we go to the other view in this part you can see it is from this part to here exactly 25 centimeter like this so if we click outside you can see that we reduced some parts on this handle in here if you want you can continue this to the other side i mean this way we can continue it to the other side and this way you can open your like door from the part that you want as you saw it is very simple to create and is very unique one thing in here that you might need to know sometimes uh, when you want to like create a void on an extrusion on extrusion form it might not cut your form and in this case you just need to first select your uh, form this extrusion anything it is sweep blend revolve any of these you need to select it and then click on this cut section and then select your void this way you can cut and reduce your void from your extrusion okay let's go to the next part in here i want to show you another way that you can create these handles again it is very similar to the other one but it is another way that you can create it so for this one uh, i have created the door the drawer in another family so i'm going to go to this section and we're going to create it on this door so let's go to this front view and in here we need to create it exactly on this part on this reference plane for this one we are going to use revolve so i'm going to go to the create section and void form this time i will choose this void revolve and then for its axis, I will create it exactly on this part. And for its boundary line, we are going to go with a very simple shape. With this peak line, I'm going to create one or two centimeter offset. I'm going to create a line in this part. I think this is a little too much, so I'm going to move it up a little bit okay for the start and end i will create an arc with this center and arc i'm going to start from this part to here and to this section okay then i will just simply trim these two parts together okay after that i'm going to just simply select this and mirror it for the other part this way and then again i'm going to trim these two parts together create a line and connect these two arcs together and before i hit finish let's go to this 3d view and in here i'm going to hit finish and here we have it okay this way this is a curve model that you can use and you can have it 
on the center exactly if you want to do that you can go to ref level in here i'm going to first change the thickness of this section from two centimeter to maybe three or four centimeter and then let's again lock it after that in the center i'm going to create a line this way and we are going to set it exactly between these two sections make them equal and then lock them so we are going to create it exactly on this part and i'm going to simply change its name so we can easily select it and after that in here we can go back to the edit revolve in front view and set the work plane on the a reference plane okay if we hit finish and go to the 3d view again you can see that it is exactly in the center this way okay if we put this on consistent color fine okay this is another way that you can create these handles i'm going to load this into the drawer click on ok overwrite the existing version and we can see it on all of these parts this way okay on all of these sections and if you want to be able to control the gap between these you can just simply go to the family type and in this part for this height you can like add to this value and this way you can add the gap between these drawers as you like since we created this as a fully parametric cabinet we can do anything we want in here also i want to show you another model that is not that hidden but it is also very unique with the same technique i'm going to go to this view and in here for this tall cabinet we are going to go to the front view in this part we are going to create it exactly in this section so again i'm going to use the extrusion void extrusion so i'm going to create a form in this part between these sections and you don't need to actually uh, like set it between two things i'm going to create my shape simply in this part to here and to this section you can also and use the mirror i'm going to select this one and mirror it for the other part for the center okay and then i'm going to close this part in here hit finish okay this way we created our form in this part it didn't cut the cabinet but it is in here as you can see in this section i'm going to go to the 3d view from the top part Put it on wireframe and in here we can see where it is exactly I'm going to move it to this part to here and if we go back to this view again we can see it in this section okay as i said it didn't cut the door so i'm going to just simply click on this cut select my form and then select the void this way you can see it in this section i'm going to select it in the front view and i will just simply mirror it for the other part exactly from the center of my cabinet and then to make it even more special i'm going to move it down to this part a little bit more to here so it is easier to use it if i click outside again we can see that it didn't cut the door so i'm going to use the cut option cut tool again on this door and then select this void this way we have a super unique handle again in this part so these are three different ways that you can create unique handles and i have also seen a lot of different design with unique shapes and forms you can use them too so I really hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial and I will see you next time.